Youth voice and leadership. So Reader's Theater is another example of creativity at play within our expanded learning program. So students were able to take their favorite book, they read through the book together as a class, and when the book was over, they decided on what the favorite scene was. I got the part of co-director for the play, so I'm very happy with that because I get mainly the artistic vision of the play, and to be honest, I really think the play is gonna be awesome. And she has them timed and there's cues and she takes it extremely serious and it's cultivating that skill in her and it's her vision and so she's like no that's not how I wanted it to look cut we're starting over but you can really see like her creative juices at work and the class is totally buying into it they respect her as the director and they're following her lead so at our high school what we have is we have a youth advisory board those students are elected each year at the beginning of the year by each program, so there's a student who represents each one of the activities in our after-school program. Those students meet as a group about once every two weeks. We meet on Fridays, and those students are the ones who are responsible for creating new programs. So then us as the board, who are the students, mm -hmm. get to pick what we like to do. So if you're an artist and you really like to do that, then there's a bunch of art programs and it's all student run. We have the students write down written input for their project-based learning, um, which is specific clubs that they would like to see. Once they write down what they would like to see, we take that, and every month we have a different project-based learning club for them. So for our clubs, they asked us, what do you guys want to do? What do you guys feel like doing? And the, um, Mr. Braglio, which is a coordinator, he made an art club, and I feel like we do have a voice that we want to do an art club, and he made a, uh, an art club for us. So to do what we're interested in? Well, I work with, I help actually the staff members come up with new ideas, but I help them in every way, like organize everything that they need help on. I try to be there for them and make sure that everything's going well, because dealing with how many kids we have, it can be a handful. My coordinators have a voice in this program. My staff have a voice in this program. Things that we've created is because of our staff. They have a voice. They come to me, talk to me about things that we can do to enhance our programming. And I really listen to them. And that's why everyone has skin in the game. Our students, our staff, so do I, our teachers. And that's what makes this program so successful because everyone has a say. Through the implementation of the Youth Voice and Leadership Standard, students are empowered to make an impact in their community. By providing them the space to share their voice, they become leaders. The quality standards are a guide to help you lead your program to its highest quality. Your work in expanded learning is essential to helping young people thrive.